Kevin Lynch will take the opening face-off against Booney Evans. Crunch from left to right in their orange jerseys with the blue pants. The Wolfpack from right to left, white jerseys and red pants. Kevin Lynch wins the face-off. The puck is dumped into the offensive zone. Hagee gets it back to the right point. Thomas hands on a shot attempt. It's picked up and cleared by Fogarty. Moves it across. Now Schneider finds a man. It is Graves. He's in. He shoots at a Saint. Rebound out in front. Poked loose. Another stop. It's still free. Kept out. Swept back in front again. It goes just wide of the near post. Matt Bodie saving a goal for the crunch. As the puck comes back in front again, it's still loose. And finally, the crunch get it out of there. Clears it to the left wing side for Archimbo. Backhands it into the defensive zone. It's a takeaway. Tambellini scores. Adam Tambellini jumped on a loose puck and scores from inside the slot. 9.37 to go in the first period. And Hartford has a 1-0 lead. Yeah, trying to snap that streak. And he rang one off the post just a little bit ago. Here's a chance for Conrad in front of the stop. The rebound bounces back into the crease. And it is covered. Another push and shove here. Zaborowski against Daniel Walcott, it looks like, at the moment. Zaborowski to hold his own. He rejoined the Wolfpack here uh, just today. Cleared by Tambellini. A stretch pass looking for Manny. He's got him in on goal. A chance and a blocker save made by Ingram. Play continues. The Evans turnaround shot goes wide. It was Kozlachuk. The great chance and a great save by Ingram. Pass from Ingram goes to Sorelli down the left wing. Archambault jumps off the bench, joins the play. Back pass from Sorelli was broken up. Behind the net now for Archambault. Now Volkov shoots. He scores. Alex Volkov ties the game, 104 into the second period. A little tic-tac-toe pass play, Sorelli for Archambault. From behind the net, Archambault finds Volkov. He's got goals in back-to-back -back games. And the Crunch have tied it early in the second period. And the Crunch have tied the game at one. Volkov gets his second goal in as many games. Here come the Wolfpack in on the offensive zone chance. It's Heedle scores! Oh, what a goal from Philip Heedle, a spinorama back hitter that got underneath the pads of Connor Ingram. And just like that, Hartford moments later reclaims the lead two to one. Anderson's out of the penalty box. Lead pass comes to him down the left wing at the left circle. Shoots and a save by Ingram. Oh, and then he gets run into by his teammate Alex Volkov on the back check. Hopefully everyone's okay. It was a high-speed collision between Volkov and Ingram. Seven minutes into the second. Another chance through the zone. It is Heedle into the offensive zone. Chips at left wing side. A chance down. Low score! Ryan Gropp goes long post against Connor Ingram. And it's 3-1 Hartford. 12.57 to go in the second period. For Hagee gets right back in for Syracuse. Left wing side. Across right side. Steven shoots. Stop. Rebound. Score! Anthony Sorelli tucks in the rebound. It's a power play goal with 16.7 seconds left in the second period. It's a 3-2 game. Great cross ice pass from Carter Verhage to Mitchell Stevens. He let his great shot go from the right circle, hit the crossbar, bounced right down, and Sorelli just taps it home, and the cruncher within one. The crunch go the other way, four on three. It's Joseph with speed down the right wing, stops at the top of the right circle, looks across, feeds it through, a shot was blocked. Comes back for Joseph, down low for Verhege, a shot and a glove save made by Georgiev. Oh, great save there. Some tricky passing for the crunch. His reach in the neutral zone, it is Ben Thomas. Looks around, he's pressured by Groff, finds Verhege up ahead for Joseph. He splits the D, right wing circle, he's in, shoots, scores! <laughs> The birthday boy ties the game eight minutes into the third. Matthew Joseph from the right wing circle goes the long post and ties the game at three. What a way to celebrate turning 21 for Matthew Joseph. He has tied it for the crunch eight minutes into the third period. He scores his ninth goal of this season. Thomas, here come the crunch again. Bornevold down the right wing of the right circle. Drives towards the front. Freeze, Lynch shoots. Same rebound out in front. It's still loose near the crease. They continue to poke away. Oh, and then the quick whistle. The puck was loose. And the whistle blew. Now a crowd developing here. It is Yone Tamala for the crunch. Tied up with a Hartford player. Oh, the puck was loose. Referee lost sight of it, though. Chuck along the near boards, poked away by McBain. Races after it against Anderson. He gets behind the defense with Bordeval. He's in. Backhand shot stopped by Georgiev. And he gets run into by the Hartford defender, Kosmachuk. He went crashing down. Kevin Lynch will take the pace off. 
at the right wing circle. It is won by the crunch. Quick shot, tip just wide off the stake of Joseph. And we head to a shootout. And so that will send up Adam Tambellini for a round one chance for Hartford. The lefty shooter has a goal in regulation, goes in on Pasquale, shoots and scores. And Carter Verhage must score for the crunch or the Wolfpack win the game. Here comes Carter Verhage. He goes right in on Georgiev. Fakes, has room, scores! What a move by Carter Verhage. And he has evened the shootout in the top of round three, one to one. And so the crunch stay alive. Oh, great hands and great moves by Carter Verhage. All right, so it's up to Ryan Gropp. He can win the game for Hartford in the bottom of round three. Tied at one. The lefty shooter out to his right. Shoots and scores. And Ryan Gropp wins the game for the Wolfpack in a shootout. As Hartford wins it in a shootout two to one, they win the game four to three. And so that is your final here tonight. The Crunch rally from a two nothing deficit to gain a point tonight. And after dominating throughout most of regulation, some great looks in overtime. Hartford gets the victory in a shootout. Final score in the shootout was two to one. Final score in the game was four to three.